Hello. Hello. So, t- tell me about what we're going to see. We are going to fix some damaged lining on this shoe. Because you love these shoes. They're great <coughs> shoes. You want to marry these shoes. They're they're from the 90s? Yes, mid-90s, John Fluvog, Angel Michael. That's what they're called. So you're, why do you take that out? Just to get access to the lining? I do that so that I can glue the lining down underneath, like all the way under the sole. It looks nicer and, you know, theoretically it should last a little longer that way too. You're just cleaning out the, like, the dusty, like, dried yeah. up glue or some shit? Yeah, glue and, like, <laughs> foot residue. Right on. So you gotta cut out the lining. Obviously you don't take out the whole thing. Are you just, like, like, following the contour of the shoe? Yeah, I'm cutting it at the stitching right here. Are you cutting... You're cutting through the stitching, right? Yeah, and, like, sort of just pulling it off, because it is glued in there. It's glued and stitched in, which is what you're going to redo with a fresh piece of leather. Yeah. Have you ever done this before? I haven't done it quite like this. I've added a piece of leather to make some shoes fit a little... A little more snug. Holy shit, where, where'd you get that idea? Um, the internet? No, I've, I've I had another pair of shoes that um, I actually got them that way. <laughs> like somebody else did that. That's interesting. That's a good fancy way to do it. But yeah, it's a pretty <clears throat> it's pretty standard uh, procedure for damaged linings or for making a shoe fit a little a little more snug. So. Just cut it up until up to where the damage ends. This one was all the way on the sides. Did you do all the damage, or was any of that when you bought them? You bought them I used, think, right? Yeah, I got them used like probably six or seven years ago or something. And I think I'm probably the one who blew out the heels on this. Mm-hmm. So I'm cutting this kind of sideways, if you can look at that. I'm doing that because I'm not going to be able to skive that piece of leather. So cutting it sideways kind of makes it blend into the other piece of leather when I glue it on. Rather than like cutting it straight down the middle, which would make it, um, make there be like this little bulge So it's kind of like a little joint? Yeah, it's kind of like making a joint, like a scarf joint. Cutting it along the bottom to get the rest of the lining out. Is that all the way on the heel? I couldn't tell. Or no? Um, like on the bottom, like the footbed area. Yeah, it goes underneath that, but that part I can't pry up. It's like. How much do you think this would cost, like for a professional? Um, it's a good question. To do it professionally, my guess is at least twenty bucks. But probably more, maybe like forty. The leather that you got—that was couch leather that you took Actually, off? this one is not couch leather. It's some goat leather that I actually bought for the purpose of linings. Okay. Do you think that's goat leather already in there? I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, so you pulled out the old lining, and now what? So now we're going to take our, this is a piece of leather that we're going to use for the lining, and I'm going to kind of stick it in there and figure out where I'm going to cut it. Was that stressful? It's kind of complicated. you got to move it around a lot, and then eventually I realized I needed to hold that end sole down because it was getting in the way. I'd be like, fuck, I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to cut it all wrong. You gotta cut it like a little larger than you need. So you're just pushing it in there. Yeah, in a way where it's actually gonna, you know, contour to the back of the heel. Mm-hmm. And then I find out where it's gonna start and where it's gonna end and mark it with a pen. So you just did the heel right there where you didn't do the sides? Or you did 
Yeah, I think I just did the heel right there. Okay. And it's where you're gonna cut it, or you're gonna cut it below that? Oh no, you that's where like the triangle goes up to, right? Yeah, like where the little pieces Yeah. Yeah. Go underneath the mm -hmm. the insole. You could use couch leather for this. Mm -hmm. um, this one's a little thinner than couch leather. Because the shoes are already kind of snug on me. I don't want them to fit too tight. Mm -hmm. So now I'm cutting, um, cutting little triangles where, like, that part's gonna be underneath the insole. So you gotta cut them like that so there's not this big chunk of overlapping leather mm -hmm. underneath there. So did you look this up before you did it? Not really. <laughs> you were just like... I'm gonna try it. I mean, I kind of did, but it was our, it was everything that I was gonna do anyway. Okay. Except the guy has a professional uh, leather leather showing sewing machine. Uh huh. That he used to do the stitching. So basically, I just keep adjusting until it fits right. Yeah. So did you already you already did the other one? Yeah, at this point I did the first one already. And then I looked over, I was like, hey, what are you doing? And you're like, I'm fixing my shoes. I was like, can I videotape you? And you're like, yeah, I mean, you're just like quiet, content man doing your own thing. And I look over, I'm like, holy shit, dude, you're building like, you're building a country or something. <laughs> I was like, can I watch? <laughs> you're like, yeah. Now that that's pretty much good to fit, now you're gonna scythe, which basically you're you're cutting the leather at the ends at an angle to make them blend into other parts. Is there anything um? that you would have done differently? On one of them, I, I cut it a little short on one part. Short? Like, what do you mean? Like it there's like this tiny little section where there's like a quarter inch that it that doesn't go up to the, the leather that I cut out. But it's, it's in a spot that's not really gonna get a bunch of wear. Yeah. So, it's not really a big deal. Um, one thing I would have liked to do is use red stitching instead of gray stitching, but I didn't have any red thread. I thought, I, I totally didn't think it mattered, and you were like, are we all out of red? And you're like digging around, and I'm like, that'll do, and then you're like, are we out of red? And I was like, hmm, it appears that we are out of red. Alright, what's going on? Scuffing the the leather that I'm gonna glue onto a little bit. So you could be like a gecko and put the the little suctions of glue in there. Yes, little suctions. Okay. <laughs> By the way, good quality shoes are worth repairing. So, what is that? Like, is that just glue? Like, what is that? It's basically rubber cement. Um, barge is what uh, most shoe repair shops actually use. Okay. How much is that? Where'd you get it? I 
I'm pretty sure we got that on eBay. How much? I think it was like 20 bucks or something. It looks like a lifetime supply of fucking glue. For me, it probably will be. <laughs> it also looks like, by lifetime, I mean f- from the dawn of time. That was, it looks awesome. Anyway, <clears throat> so you put it everywhere that you're going to attach. Yeah, both sides. So put it on the lining that I'm going to glue in and inside the shoe. And then you wait five minutes? Yeah. You can wait. It's like five to five to twenty minutes. To so like soak in or what? Yeah, I'm not sure what the waiting period is, but it's, it's supposed to it's supposed to be so it sticks better that way. I think it's just like um, the way the air reacts with it mm. makes it stick. What do you think of the smell? It's pretty strong. Um, do this in a well-ventilated area. I thought it smelled kind of good. That's what I was actually going for. Would you, you like it? <laughs> I don't think it smelled good. I, I, think it, I think it smells dangerous. In a good way. <laughs> so just a light coat? It doesn't look like you're really overdoing it. Yeah, you don't need to glue it on real crazy or anything. Just, you know, coat the whole surface. And that's not a brush? I used a piece of scrap leather. Well, I mean, isn't there a brush like... Yeah, there's a brush in there, but it's it's huge. I don't, really, <laughs> I don't want to use a huge brush. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, set those aside for... Uh, I set them aside for five minutes. What'd you do for five minutes? Oh, you know, read a book. Start to finish. Okay. Alright, what the hell is going on? Alright, now what I'm doing... that uh, That's called a heel counter, that white piece that's in there. Um, some of it was kind of coming off at the top, so I put some glue underneath that, so that was me just putting it back in place before I put the lining in. Wait, what's it called? It's called a heel counter. Okay. Stiffens the heel so it doesn't, like, collapse. Shoe anatomy is fucking interesting. Yeah. Because it's like, these are legitimate things that I <laughs> I don't even think exist, but they, they definitely exist. Yeah. Shoes without heel counters, sometimes you can tell because the heels are like... They get crushed easily? Yeah, they just... They're as thin as, like, the sides. Is that, like, something you notice, like... Oh, yeah, definitely. Cheap, like, um, cheap shoes and good shoes. A lot of Doc Martens are like that. Like, they don't even have a... They don't actually have a heel counter. Some, I think some of the older ones do. But I've got a pair where it's like... The heels feel like crap. Because there's nothing in them. So does that just stick on there? Yeah, you just stick it on there. Put some pressure on it. This is the same kind of glue that you use for resoling, and in that case, you use a hammer. Do you think the person who watches this video, like the type of person who would watch a video on resoling shoes, or no, 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 uh, the lining, repairing the lining, do you think they know all this? Like all the anatomy and stuff? Yeah, or? yeah, like do you think they're familiar with any of this? probably on that path yeah. if nothing else so you just put the sole back down mm-hmm. and you glued it in yep and that's if you have a sole that comes up I know some shoes don't sometimes it's stitched onto the shoe mm. so what do you do harder to repair you just don't lift that part up okay It's a nice pair of shoes to have that, like, a leather, um, a leather, they call it a sock liner, I mm-hmm. think, which is kind of a odd term, but it really helps with the comfort of the shoe, and it looks nice. That sole part? Yeah, the part that I just glued back down. Mm-hmm. Dude, you're fucking smooth with a with a um a razor. 
I was like, yay, we're done. And then you're like, and now we have to sew it. And I was like, no. I was seriously like, yay. I'm gonna go do something else. What was that? That was a little piece that I remembered I had to glue on the inside of the, of the lining there. It's just like a, a little piece of leather that goes on the top. It's really just because it was there before. Mm -hmm. So I stuck that back in. This is me thinking we're done, and I was like, hey, look at this sweet-ass finished job that's completely done. And then you're like, bam! And I was like, oh, hello. Yeah. So this is the most time-consuming part, I think. Yeah, I didn't even film, like, yeah, just for a second. I was like, all right, good day. So I started stitching this one way, and then I ended up doing it a different way. Why? Because it, I just kept breaking the thread. So I ended up doing a running stitch instead. What were you doing the first way? It's where you cross. Um, you put the needle, you put two needles on the thread, mm -hmm. and you go in and out on both sides with right. both needles, which is the strongest way, but not when you cut the thread every five stitches. Mm -hmm. Running stitch is fine for this. Technically, I could go back around and do a running stitch the other way. And it'd probably work. But... Okay, so what you're showing us here actually doesn't apply to what you did? Yes. Okay. But long story but short is, like, this is what you do regardless. Like, you're just going to stitch up the sides. Yeah. And use the stitching holes that are already there. Well, that's handy. Also use uh, the same color thread as the shoe. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <clears throat> so then like five hours later... <laughs> you seem totally content though. You didn't seem like... At no point were you like, God, this is taking forever! <laughs> it's a good hobby for relaxed people. Except it hurts your neck looking down the whole time. Mm -hmm. After a long time. So I was like, let's get the last shot so people see what's going on. It's mostly fingers, but it's cool. Yep. And then I'm just tying it off. Triple knot. Pay someone to do it because you're a rich bitch? Or just personal satisfaction doing it yourself? Or neither of those? Yeah, personal satisfaction. Um, I don't want somebody to fuck up my shoes. Yeah. I doubt it if someone's a professional. Why do you do that? Um, there was a couple of loose threads that were the original threads mm -hmm. on there. Yeah. So it's kind of burnt off the ends. Look at that sweet job! Yeah! yeah. Thanks! <laughs>